Hi, Boa friends. It's been a while, but here we are still, you know, doing things virtually, but that's okay. So thank you for uh, tuning in today. And we're going to do a 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes of cardio, followed by 20 minutes of strength training, followed by 20 minutes of very important stretching. Okay, so get your water, get your stretch strap, all that stuff, and get ready to rock. Are you ready? Here we go. Just a step tap to start. 20 minutes of cardio, we got this. We gotta warm it up. Just step tap it. Remind your body to breathe and don't let anything hurt. Tap it out. Get your arms going, your whole body, not just legs. Don't let it hurt, remind yourself to breathe. We're gonna grapevine it and tap and tap. Start small and we're gonna let it grow. Sidestep it if you choose. Start with your arms. Breathe. Make it bigger. Hold it here. Always catch your breath. If you need to catch your breath, this is your go-to move. Bring it forward. Take it back. Forward. Take it back. Back to that great line. Little curl. We're gonna add on to this in a little bit. We're gonna triple up those curls. Back to that tap. Always catch your breath. Big arms or small arms, up to you. All right, let's lift those knees. Breathe, big arms or small arms. Do it your way. And breathe. Step tap it. Do whatever you want to do with your arms. All right, here we go. Great fine. Lift, lift, lift. Great fine. Lift, lift, lift. Three times. If you lift this far, that's cool. You do it your way. Straight on grapevine. Curl. Three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tap it out. Catch your breath. Always tap on over to your water if you need to. Move and breathe. Stay hydrated. Bring it forward. Sway. Take it back. Sway. Forward. Take it back. Scoop. Sway. One more time. Sway. Last time. Great bind. No hold.
We're gonna do a great body sway. Sway. Go. Sway. Go. Sway. And go. Your gun rolls and knee lifts. Here we go. Three times. One, two, three. Come on, you got this. Breathe. A little bit more. Last one. Recover. Tap. A little bit of freestyle here. Oh. Scoop forward. Big. Sway. Scoop back. Sway. Forward. Sway. Sway back. Sway. Great. Fine. Hold. Sway. Breathe. Whew. Forward. Sway. However you want to sway, you sway. Take it back. Go. Hold. And go. One more. A little bit of recovery. Freestyle. Do whatever you want. Okay, let's get back to those knee lifts. Over we go. I always give you a little bit of break in between the hard stuff. Kick it back. Whoo! Breathe. Back to the knees. Come on, smile, you feel good. Couple more, come on, we got this. Two more times. Last one. Bring it forward. Give me the sway. Take it back. Great, fine. Sway. Freestyle. Take it back. Forward. Way, big or small, whatever you like. Take it back. Great, fine, sway. We're gonna add on to this. Here we go, kickbacks. Kick, 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 go. One. Two, three, go. Add those arms. Come on, you can do this. Big or small, up to you. Or do this way. Whatever you can manage. Make sure you can breathe. You don't want to lose your breath.
One more time. Sway forward. Take it back. Whew. Bring it to me, come on. Big sway or small sway, up to you. One more time, well, two more times actually. Last time. A little bit of freestyle right here. Sway is a level one, that's it. Or go to those kickbacks, up to you. Don't let it hurt. Make sure you can breathe. Knee raises. One, two, three, over. Three kickbacks, same side. All the way. Knees up. Knees. Kick back. Knees. Sway. Breathe. Catch your breath. One more cardio interval. And then we're gonna take our heart rate down and get into our weights. Take it back. Forward. Breathe. Big sway or small sway, up to you. Great bind. Sway. Modified, sway. Full on, kick back. Knees up, opposite sides. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Kick back. Or sway, whatever you want. Kick back. Give me knees. Or sway, whatever you want. Just breathe and move. You got this. Take it down. Sway. Everybody sway. Kick backs. Knees. Come on, we're almost there. Back to the kickback. Or sway, whatever you want to do. Woo. Everybody sway. We're going to start bringing it down. Take it back. 
One more time forward, one more time back. Small, we're bringing it down. Very important that you bring your heart rate down, your respiration down before we stop to do our weights. Great bind, pull. Breathe. Focus on your heart rate and your breathing. You want it to be coming down. It takes about two to five minutes for that to happen, depending on your cardio health. Breathe, smaller and smaller. Bring it forward, nice and easy. Take it back. Small, small, breathe. Stay here and just sway. Just sway, you wanna bring it down. Breathe. Freestyle, but small. Smaller and smaller. Focus on that heart rate and your breathing. You want to be breathing, not quite normal, but getting close. You want your heart to stop pounding so hard. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Head into the music. All right, we're gonna pause that music right there, but we're gonna keep moving. Keep moving, heart rate coming down, breathing starting to normalize, but you're still moving. You don't wanna stop moving completely until you can breathe almost normally and you can feel your heart is not pounding in your chest anymore. Really important. You don't want to get blood pooling. You want to make sure that your muscles have stopped contracting. So it stopped helping get the blood back to your brain. So if you stop moving abruptly when your heart rate is high, you get blood pooling. The blood stays here and it doesn't get here. The next thing you know, you're laying on the floor, you have no idea what happened. Okay. So you want to keep moving. Conscious breathing until everything comes down. You can pause the video here if you choose to make sure that you feel okay before you stop moving completely to go into our strength training. If you wanna pause the video now to go grab your soup cans or your weights, whatever you've got happening at home, please do. And I'm gonna go wipe my face, grab a sip of water and grab my weights. I will see you in a minute. Here we are, you have your soup cans, you have your weights, whatever you've got going on. Please make sure that your weights aren't very heavy. I recommend maybe about three pounds for what we're gonna do. Um, and um, core strength, remember the Pilates class that we did, right? Um, core strength, when you're using weights, you wanna make sure that you engage the core because your arms and your legs pull their strength from the core. So you wanna make sure that you keep your core engaged, pull that wide belt in nice and tight. We're gonna start very, very simple. And I don't move quickly when I'm using weights, nor do I use music, because I really want you to pay attention to how your body feels. If something hurts, you stop. No, no working through the pain or anything like that. You stop and wait for the next exercise. I will show modifications if there are a modification. Usually there is a modification. Um, Okay, or go to lower weight or put the weights down and just do it without the weights. That's a good option. That's a great modification. So you never want to feel pain. So the very first one we're going to do, we're going to work the inner thighs because they don't get a lot of natural work. Outsides of the legs, fronts and backs, yes. Insides, not so much. So you're just going to turn your toes out a little bit and you're going to just let your weights hang down. All right. We're going to keep our butt tucked under. We don't want our body to cheat and lean forward as we do a little plie. 
all right? So this is a two-part exercise, a lower body and then an upper body. It's called a sumo row, okay? So, or a plie row, whatever you wanna call it. So let your arms just go nice and loose, hang on to your weights, it's not your arms turn. Tuck your bum under, and you're just gonna do a little plie. You wanna feel the insides of your legs. Come back up, now it's your arms turn. Make a bow tie. Drop it down and plie. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. So that's what that exercise looks like. Okay, we're gonna do 10 repetitions. If you can only do five before you start feeling muscle fatigue, that's fine. You do what you can in that moment without feeling pain. Here we go. Down for one, breathing out. Keep your bum tucked under. Up for one. Bow tie, breathe out. Breathe in. Down for two. And breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out for three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, down for four, breathing out, breathe in. You don't have to come right up under your chin here. You can come to here, whatever's good for you. And down, down for five, we're halfway through this exercise, and up. Bow tie, and down. You're feeling your shoulder muscles, especially the back of the shoulder muscles on that bow tie and up, and I think this is seven, down for seven, <laughs> and up, bow tie, and down, down for eight, and up, eight bow ties, and down, breathe out for nine, breathe in for nine, breathe out for nine, Breathe in for nine. Last one. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Don't move. Release your arms. Turn one toe to the screen. The other toe comes to the screen. You penguin walk your feet together and shake it out. You don't want to pull your groin, right? Very difficult to get from here. Where do you go? How do you do that? So if you try, you might hurt your lower back might hurt the insides of your legs. So turn the toes forward, penguin walk your feet together, and we're good to go. So recover. A little bit of recovery here. That's it. Grab water if you need it, whenever you need it, okay? All right, so the second exercise we're gonna go into is um, a little bit of a squat, okay? So you don't have to squat very far. Um, even bending your knees a little bit, but doing it correctly. You can strengthen uh, weak knees by doing proper squats. Usually when people do a squat, they let their knees shoot forward. That hurt. Just doing that, I felt pain underneath my knee. But when I bend my knees like so, and I lead with my rear, no pain, okay? So, and we're gonna add an upper body movement to this as well. So I'm gonna do it from the side so you can see my posturing and see how I lead with my rear and how high I lift my weights to the front of my body. And then I'm going to turn to face you. Take your time setting up your exercises. Your feet need to be hip width apart. Your toes are even. My core, my big wide belt is pulled in tight. I'm gonna start sitting down, but I'm gonna counterbalance with my weight so I don't fall backwards. I'm leading with my bum. My weight is in my heels. And I'm gonna stand back up. I'm gonna do it one more time. From the side. Breathe out as you sit down. And breathe in as you stand back up. When you're sitting down, you're using your lower back, your glutes, and your hamstrings. When you're standing back up, you're using your abdominals and your quads. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 of these. Do as many as you can. If you uh, start to fatigue or shake, 
that's your body's way of telling you you're done. So if you start to shake and your form breaks down, that's where you stop and you recover. Here we go. Hip width apart, I set my lower body. A Little bit of a bend in my knees to start. I set my core, my arms are ready, here I go. Down for one as I breathe out. Up for one as I breathe in. Down for two. Up for two. Down for three. Up for three. Down for four. Up for four. Go nice and slow. Down for five. Breathe out. Up for five. Down for six. Up for six. Down for seven. Up for seven. Down for eight. Up for eight. Nine. One more, we can do this. Last one. And up, ah, oh, and release it. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, we're not moving fast, but we're working hard. I am sweating. I am sweating a lot. Ah. Oh. Keeping your weights or your soup cans in your hands and just doing this, this is a little bit of traction, um, stretching with a little bit of traction. Make sure that you're hanging on to your weights tightly because you don't want to fling them at anybody and you don't want to drop them on your toes. So hang on tight and just swing the arms back and forth. Shake out that lower body, release everything. Perfect. All right, we're going to go into a shoulder press. Uh, bicep curl, shoulder press, holding static in the lower body. It takes muscle strength and power not to move, right? So we want to um, hold static in the lower body. We bend our knees, root down into the floor. Imagine if I was gonna come up beside you and give you a push. You don't wanna move. So bend your knees and root down into that floor. So if I did come through the camera and give you a little push, you're not going anywhere, okay? So our bicep curl, it looks like this. Let me show you first before we do it. So. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. You're going to bicep curl, fingers to the ceiling. Turn your palms toward me. You're going to shoulder press. Keep that core tight because your body's going to want to lean backwards right here. Bring it back down. Turn your palms to yourself and bring that bicep curl back down. You're not moving from those shoulders except for on that shoulder press. Okay, so moving nice and slow, we're gonna do 10. I'll cue your breathing as well. Here we go. Curl up, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Core tight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. This time I'm gonna show you a modification. If you have high blood pressure, you're gonna do this instead. Curl. Turn, instead of a press, you're gonna do this. Pulse. Come back to here. Turn and bring that bicep curl back down. Okay, so that's your modification instead of the shoulder press. Here we go. So we're gonna count this one as number two. Lift, turn, breathe out as you press or pulse. Come back down, palms to yourself, and back down. Go nice and slow. Curl for three, turn for three, breathe out. Core strength, especially right there. Bring it down, turn, and bring it down. Up for four, turn for four. Breathe out as you press. Breathe in as you come back down. Turn and release. 
up for five, turn for five, breathe out as you press, breathe in as you come down, breathe out, breathe in, up for six, turn, press, down, turn, and bring it back down. Breathe out for seven, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. It's taking a long time, yeah? <laughs> breathe out for eight, turn, press, and down, turn, and release. Two more times, up for nine, Turn, press, release, turn, bring it down one more time, curl, breathe out, turn, breathe in, press, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and release everything. Even though you weren't moving through that lower body, it was holding static, and that takes muscle power. So, oh, release, a little bit of recovery, a little bit of recovery, always recovery, always recovery. If you need to pause the video and recover for even longer in between exercises, that's cool, but I like to recover for at least 30 seconds. Um, during the video, it's 30 seconds. In a real life class, it's usually a minute. So I'm just gonna shake everything out here. You pause for as long as you need to. No napping. <laughs> All right. Watching the video eating chips. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Sips of coffee in between, that's okay. But water is really good. You're made of water, so you need to hydrate so bad things don't happen to you, right? Okay, so now we're going to get fancy schmancy. Okay, I'm just going to wipe the sweat out of my eyes. There we go. Compound movements. I believe in compound movements. We just did a muscle isolation, but it was still a compound movement. We were turning through our shoulders and our wrists and all that stuff. That's how our body works. That's what we need to do every day to make things happen, right? So just doing a bicep curl all by itself, that's good but doing other things all together, that's even better. So we're gonna do a little um, pulsing lunge with a lateral lift, okay? So we're gonna pulse um, for 10 on one side, and then we're gonna pulse for 10 on the other. So I'll do it from the side so you can see what happens. I'm gonna leave my arms like so. I'm gonna step back with my right foot. My left foot is flat on the floor, and I've hinged. I've got the ball of my foot on the floor in the back. Both of my knees are bent, but not as bent as they're going to get. I set my body, and to pulse, I'm going to just little pulses. So I'm bending both knees, okay? So I'm going to face the camera so I don't hit our background. Um, but that's what it looks like. When you step back, your heel is off the floor, and you're going to pulse by bending both knees, okay? Your legs, you're gonna feel your legs, all right? If you don't make it to 10, no big deal. Do five, but just do them well, do them well. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I have enough room to step back. Here I go. This is part one. Make sure you find your balance before you lift your arms. Here I go, I'm gonna pulse for 10. One. Two, three, don't lift the weights above your shoulders, four, five, you feeling it, six, seven, breathe out, breathe in, eight, Nine, 
One more. Ten. Pause. Oh, rubber legs. Rubber legs. <laughs> shake it out. Recover. Make sure that you shake out those rubber legs. Shake out if it's, you've got a burning in your quad. Shake it out. Shake it out. You don't start the other side until the burn in the side that you just did is gone. All right. You ready to do the other side? Here we go. Step it back. Lock that movement down. Find your balance. So your weight is distributed between your front foot, toes to, to heel, and the ball of that back foot. You ready? Here we go. One. Going slow. Two. Don't let your body lean forward or back. Three. Breathe out. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh, mama. Okay, so we're gonna do one more simple one and then we are going to do those deep stretches, okay? You've worked your cardio, you've worked your muscles. The last piece of that puzzle is the stretch. You have to do that stretch if you want your muscles to recover and be stronger and your joints to work properly. You've gotta get that stretch in. So we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do a little curtsy lunge, okay? So we're gonna do a 10 count. So it works out to be five on each side. So it looks like this. I'll do it from the side so you can see what happens in the back. That's what it looks like. And then we open, and then we do the other side. Stay facing your screen, okay? Whatever leg goes behind, that's what arm comes forward. As soon as your leg crosses the midline of the body, it thinks it's the other side, and this is what happens. So whatever arm goes, or leg goes back, that's what arm comes forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, find your balance in between each, eight, open, nine, last one, open, and ten, come back to start, oh, swing it out, swing it out, put your weights down, grab some water, grab a mat if you require one, and grab, a strap that does not stretch for your stretching. So I'm gonna go grab my mat, grab a sip of water, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got our stretch strap, we've got our mat, and we're gonna go down to the floor and start those deep stretches. Remember, you don't want anything to hurt. And when your body feels like it's under stress, even when it's stretching, sometimes especially when it's stretching, it'll hold its breath. So I will remind you to breathe, but be aware, be aware of the weird things that your body does all on its own without being invited. All right, you're gonna hook up your right foot. Make sure that you're closer to the ball of your foot and not the arch. There's not a lot of flesh in the arch of the foot. And you're gonna keep your left leg in what I call neutral, and you're gonna stretch out through the back of that right leg. Keep your shoulders down on the mat, let the upper body relax. Don't be in a hurry to point the bottom of your foot toward the ceiling. If you're feeling a stretch right here, that's what you want. 
You don't want to feel pain. You don't want to take a stretch to pain. Um, tension, discomfort, okay, but never pain. Pull your toes toward your nose so the stretch starts in the back of your heel. As the stretch starts to release, then I can start bringing it towards the top of my body, but not until. So I'm feeling a stretch from the back of my heel, up through my calf, back of my knee, and up through my hamstring. As soon as you bend your knee, you break that chain of stretch. So you wanna make sure that you keep the leg as straight as possible. Oh, and breathe. It takes 20 to 30 seconds for a stretch to even start. So if you're holding it for five seconds, it's not long enough. The stretch doesn't start until you're holding it for at least 20. So a little piece of information for you. True stories, true fitness stories. We're gonna start dropping the leg out to the side. You wanna keep your hips and your shoulders on the mat. Keep your legs straight and keep that foot dorsiflexed. Pull the top of your foot up. Put your elbow down on the floor. Hang on here, wherever you wanna hang on to your strap. You control where that leg is. If this is where you start to feel the stretch, then that's where you stop the stretch. Little by little, it's going to open a little bit more and a little bit more. Breathe. Always breathing. Good stuff in, bad stuff out. Always breathing. You hold this for at least 20 seconds. And you're going to find that you might be tighter on one side than the other, that's normal. Just make mental notes and when you're stretching on your own, rewind this and do the stretch, just do the stretch. Um, or fast forward to the stretch part and just do that at least once a day. If you do nothing else, at least get the stretching done. Bring it back up to the top. You're gonna change hands. Everything falls across the body. This hip comes off the floor. My resting leg goes to the floor. My stretching leg falls across the body. You're gonna feel this in here and into the lower back, up through the ribs and the front of the shoulder. Keep looking at the ceiling as much as you can and breathe. Breathe. If you need to turn your palm down or put your hand here, if this is too intense, you do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. Especially if you've got an injury. I have a slight injury in the shoulder, so I have to modify. I can't put my arm out to the side right now, but I can put it here without feeling pain. Bend your knee, come back onto your back, and you're gonna change feet. Doesn't have to look pretty, just change feet. And start all over on this side. So when I need dorsiflex, I pull my toe toward my body, right? So the top pull is top of the foot toward the body. So you feel the stretch start here. If you point your toe, you're not gonna stretch the back of the leg. So you need to get that dorsiflexion happening. Straighten the leg as much as possible, because again, as soon as you bend the knee, you break the stretch. Oh, breathe. When you find a stretch difficult, it means you really, really need it. So again, make the mental notes as you're going through the stretch and your tight side, make a mental note of that and make a mental note of the stretches that are really hard to get into, you find very difficult. Those are the ones you need the most. I'm gonna bring it up to the top just a little bit because it's starting to release. Breathe. Always reminding your body to breathe. And we're gonna let it drop. Keeping your hips and your shoulders on that mat. You decide how far that leg drops down. Feeling the stretch, the top of the groin to the inside of the knee. Breathe. Breathe, this is my tight side. Some muscles, and it doesn't matter, your, your tight side isn't consistent. 
because the inside of my leg is tight on my left side, but the outside of my hip is tight on my right side. So you don't necessarily have one tight side and one easy side. It depends on the muscle. There it goes. And you come back up to the top, change hands. Everything falls across the body to the other side. Keep that leg straight so you can feel it on the outside of the hip. Lower back, up through the ribs. This arm, I can extend out to the side. It doesn't hurt my shoulder. Breathe. Always breathe. Just normal breathing. As long as you're breathing consistently, that's what matters. Breathe. There it goes. You'll feel it. When it starts to release, it goes, ah. And bend that knee and come back to center. You're gonna put your stretch strap to the side. These next stretches are recommended stretches for sciatica. So if you have sciatica, um, maybe do these stretches a couple times a day. If you do no other stretches, try to do these ones, at least these ones. You're gonna cross your ankle over your knee but you know that ankle bone right here there's a little notch right above it that's what you want resting on your other knee you don't want to be on your ankle bone or on the edge of your foot because you want your ankle to be relaxed you want your knee to relax and you want your hip to relax and again this is my tight side <sighs> i hate doing this stretch but it's so good it's difficult Remind yourself to breathe. Let the leg relax completely and totally. This is part one. Part two, if your right leg is crossed over, you take your left hand and pull everything and take that left foot off the floor. Pull it all in. I'm feeling this here, here, and on the inside of my leg. Breathe. I'm unpinching my sciatic nerve right now. It's the piriformis that runs east and west that pinches that sciatic nerve that runs north and south. So you wanna unpinch that nerve. Breathe, 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 breathe. This one will take your breath away, guaranteed. Breathe. And bring it down, release it. Come to neutral, catch breath. Cross over the other side. Let that leg relax, totally and completely. Take your time going into this. Breathe, make sure that that ankle stays nice and loose and you're in that notch above the ankle bone. And here we go to part two. Pull it in. Breathe. Breathe always breathing and you'll feel it when it starts to let go sometimes when muscles are really really tight you have to hold it for way longer than 30 seconds these stretches my hip stretches when i do these at home i usually hold each hip for about five minutes it takes that long because the hips are so tight and bring it down all right <clears throat> we're going to go to the upper body a little bit. So you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to put them the side of your neck, back of your neck. Your thumbs are under your jaw and you're just going to let those elbows fall open to the side. So you're going to open through your chest and the fronts of your shoulders and you're also going to open through the lats down in here. Breathe. Take advantage of an open chest. We sit over a keyboard and hunched forward so much um, during our time, you know, during the day that everything starts to get really, really tight in here and we start to breathe uh, fast and shallow. We should be breathing deep and slow. So open your chest several times a day and take advantage of it and breathe, deep breathe all the way into your belly and all the way back out. We're gonna start extending this stretch. So 
you're going to put your right thumb on the floor and you're going to put your right pinky to the ceiling and you're going to start reaching. Slide your thumb along the floor and reach away from the top of your head. This is extending that stretch through the shoulder, through the lats, the, the upper back. Now we're going to put our heel on the floor and we're going to push through the heel. Let the stretch start in the ribs and travel down to your heel and up through your fingers. So you want to stretch all the way through the right side of the body. Open your ribs, visualize those ribs opening all the way to the fingers, all the way to the heel. Make sure that your leg is on the floor. You don't want to lift your leg off the floor because then you start to use your muscles instead of stretching them. Let's start bringing it back. Back to neutral. Let's do the other side. We're going to start with that arm. Get that thumb on the floor. Reach away from the top of the head. Let the stretch hit those ribs and start pushing through that heel. Visualize those ribs opening. You open the front of the body, reaching all the way through those fingers and pushing down through the heel. Breathe. And start bringing it back. You're going to come to T position. So your arms are out to the sides, palms up. We're going to start with our right arm. So you're going to lift it, you're going to bring it across your chest, you're going to take your left arm on your elbow and you're going to pull it in toward the body. You want to feel a stretch in the back of that right shoulder. If you hang on here, you're not getting that stretch. You need to get to that elbow and pull in and you're going to get a nice big stretch in the back of that shoulder. Breathe. There it goes. And come back to T. Let's do the other side. Bring it across as much as it'll go. And then get on that elbow and pull it in toward the chest. Get a nice big stretch in the back of that shoulder. and bring it in. We're going to go back to that lower body. We're going to drop both knees to the right. This is a lower back stretch. Keep looking at the ceiling. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Your feet are stacked one on top of the other. Stretching out through that lower back. Back to center, little pause. Pause before you go to the other side. And here we go. Breathe. And come back to center. You're going to roll all the way over onto your side, your left or your right, whatever you like, as long as you're facing the screen. And you're going to push up onto your hip. Whatever hip you're on, bring the knee to the front. I reckon my mat. Don't worry about this leg yet. So you're going to bring your knee to the front, set yourself up, and now leave this knee bent and scoot it behind your hip. This stretch, you're opening from your hip bone to the top of your leg and then down through your, your thigh, down through your quad. Breathe. If you straighten this leg, you get the hip flexor stretch, but you don't stretch the quad. As soon as you bend that knee, you get that quad stretch. 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. Bring this knee back to touch that foot. Be very mindful when you bring your feet to the front of your body. Don't swing your body around in a circle. So you're gonna roll back over onto that hip. Bring your feet to the front of your body. And you're gonna roll over onto the opposite hip. Here we go. My knee is kind of touching the bottom of my foot here. So I make sure that I'm stable. This knee to the front, I'm on this hip. Now I'm gonna start scooting that knee behind this hip. So that opens up the hip flexor hip bone to the top of the leg, top of the leg to the knee. Breathe. We're almost there. We're almost there. We've got one more stretch to do and then we're done. Breathe. Bring it back. Touch your leg to your foot. Now you're going to bring your feet again to the front of your body, not the front or the back of your mat, the front of your body. So your feet are facing the screen. I'm going to turn sideways, but you're going to stay here. I just want you to see the curvature of my spine when we get into the next stretch. So you stay here and I'm going to turn sideways. You're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together and you're gonna hang on to your ankles. You're gonna sit up nice and tall to start, feeling a stretch on the insides of the legs. And now we're gonna take the stretch to the spine and the back of the neck. Your shoulder blades are gonna open like sliding doors, okay? So we're going to tuck our chin to our chest, we're gonna roll our shoulders forward, and we're going to round our spine like a cat back. Visualize your vertebrae opening, decompressing all of your discs. Breathe. It's a little bit difficult to breathe here, but do the best you can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And sit up nice and tall one more time. And there you have it. We are done. Thank you very much for taking the time to um, come and do this. Um, very important. Uh, even though we can't be together physically, we can be together virtually. So it's really important that you keep moving, stay well, be safe. Now go hydrate, drink some water. Tea and coffee don't count. Neither does fruit juice because it's too high in sugar. So go drink some water. Um, go for a walk. All of that stuff. So stay safe and stay well. And hopefully we'll be able to be together soon. Take care, everybody.